April 21st, 2015 from the Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It was Game 2 from the 2015 NBA Playoff Round 1 matchup from the Dallas Mavericks and the Houston Rockets. And this game was close early on. The Mavericks were up by one point after one quarter of play with the score Dallas 24, Houston 23. It remained close in the second quarter. These two teams are matching back and forth. But at halftime, the Rockets were up by 253-51. Dirk made a couple of free throws at the end of the first half. Although he was struggling in this game. He only ended up having 10 points by the end of it. Not really a you know common performance by Dirk. He usually puts up twice that much. Then the third quarter it remained tight. Got a couple of three-pointers at the end of the third quarter. Less than a minute left. Corey Brewer hits a big three to put the Rockets up by 481-77. Then Mata Ellis responds with a tray in the closing seconds of the third quarter. And it was a one-point game, 81-80, with the Rockets in the lead narrowly. And then starting off the fourth quarter, Mata Ellis hits a J. Then Stoudemire hits a J. And now it was a three-point lead for the Mavericks, but then the Rockets took control of this game. They went on an 11 0 run. Started off with Dwight Howard getting the line. He made the first one, missed the second, but then he ended up getting the deuce and then a layup by Brewer. Howard another deuce and then Howard another deuce and Josh Smith with a layup and it was now 92 84 Houston. It's Dwight Howard had a monster game for the Rockets at that point. The Rockets just kept the Mavericks at arm's length. They kept the lead double digits. They went up by as many as 12. They just stayed in control, even went up more than 12 in this game. And by the end of it, it was 111-99. They ended up winning by 12 points in this game. And Josh Smith came up huge in the second half. He had 13 points in the second half of his 15 points in the game. All of his assists came in the second half, and all but two of his rebounds came in the second half. So he really turned it on in the second half of this game. But it was that 11-0 run. It's Dwight Howard was just unstoppable in the beginning of the fourth quarter. And once they went up at that point... And they got that double-digit lead. The Mavericks were never able to come back from that, especially with Dirk Nowitzki, who was struggling from the field. Very uncharacteristic of Dirk, shooting just 3 of 14 from the field. And the Rockets getting some good free-throw shooting. James Harden, 13 of 13 from the free-throw line. And Dwight Howard, 8 of 11 for the big man from the free-throw line. And Dwight Howard was the leading scorer in this game. 28 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 blocks. He had a double-double. James Harden, 24 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. As the two stars for Houston there combining for 52 points in this game. And they were the only two to hit double digits for the Rockets out of the starting five. But off the bench, they got 42 points from their bench. And Josh Smith, he had 15 points. He almost had a triple-double. So he had eight boards, nine assists, one steal, and one block. So just one assist and two boards shy of a double-double off the bench for Josh Smith. So all nine of his assists, as I said earlier, came in the second half. And six of his rebounds did as well and 13 of his points. So he really turned it on in the second half of this game. Corey Brewer, 15 points as well off the bench. Four boards, one assist, one steal. So the Rockets bench combined for 42 points. And surprisingly enough, the Mavericks actually outscored the Rockets bench by one point. They put up 43, although only J.J. Barrera scored in double digits with 13 points, six rebounds, and two assists off the bench. And for the starters, Mata Ellis was their leading scorer with 24 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 block. And Dirk had a double-double, but he only put up 10 points as he was really struggling from the field. But he had 13 rebounds, 2 assists, and a steal. They said, though, the Rockets were hitting those shots from the free throw line. So were the Mavericks, actually. Uh, they actually only missed one free throw in this game. But they just didn't get to the line that much. They actually got there 28 times, which is a decent amount. But the Rockets got there 35 times, and they both hit 27 shots. But, of course, the Mavericks with a better percentage, 96.4 versus 77.1 
for the Rockets. It was pretty even on rebounds. The Rockets really spreading the ball around. 25 assists versus just 14 assists for the Mavericks in this game. They both had six three-pointers. The Mavs took a couple more of 22 three-point attempts versus 20 for the Rockets. The Rockets shot 30% from downtown, 27.3 for Dallas. And Houston, 44.3 from the field. In the Mavericks, 37.1. So that's pretty uncharacteristic to them. They did hang in there for the first three quarters, but then in the fourth, when they were up by three, then the Rockets had 11 0 run, and then once they pushed it to double digits, that was all she wrote. So the Rockets hang on to win this one, and they're now up 2 0 in the series. They win both games in Houston. They'll be heading to Dallas for game three, but the final score in game two, Houston 111. Dallas 99.